hello everyone so today we are going to add uh, work on how to add these multiple icons into our minimap so as you can see here that house checkpoint over there and there is this uh, checkpoint a there is this checkpoint b or checkpoint or points of interest so uh, as you can see those locations are represented with the same icon in the minimap so yeah that's what i am going to work on today and also as you can see here the house icon is a bit larger so that is set with the parameter we have designed defined here icon size and also we can change the icon image as well so yeah let's see how to do these things today So yesterday we implemented this uh, icon for the minimap that this uh, ball is represented with this point or icon in the minimap and yeah but still we don't have a way to add uh, as, an, as many as icons we want to the minimap so that's what I'm going to work on today because this dot this particular dot you see in the minimap is just one item added into the widget blueprint if you remember it's just this icon so instead of doing it that way i'm gonna implement a way to i need to implement a way to uh, add different checkpoints or any other points of interest into the world and they should appear in the minimap without adding them as another icon or another image before we uh, at the time we create this widget okay so how can we do that right so here uh, instead of having this as another image let's create a widget Let me organize this a bit. Five, six, and move these graphical elements. Yeah. Right. Okay. User interface, widget blueprint, user widget. Can select that also. Top two digit mini map a cup. Right. So here it's at the canvas pan and an image. So just like the one we have, let me just the image drag and drop set the size 30 by 30 because that's the same size we used in our icon that we implemented here inside the widget wdg minimap right and i set the anchor to bottom left in order to keep it in the middle of the minimap i have to set the position x and y 300 and minus 300 right so as the image let me use one of these Okay, now here we need the function just like we had in the minimum update icon location. Actually, we can copy this if I, yeah, we can actually copy this. 
but I have to make sure the name of this image is set. Did I use a capital I? No. Okay, and paste. Right, it works. Right, uh, then I don't think we need this one here anymore so let me remove that from the menu app. and then let's go to this checkpoint and here Okay, icon position. So we have to add the widget from the PP checkpoint blueprint itself. So to do that, we can create widget and actually it's better to keep all the logic relevant to the UI inside the heart but for this instance to keep things simple I'm going to add create and add the widget inside the BP checkpoint so let's promote store variable let's call it right and then in the update icon position instead of this function I'm gonna use the minimap icon update icon position so update icon location the function I have implemented inside this widget right did I add this to viewport no I have to do that otherwise it will not be visible Alright. Now let's see. Oh, we have an error. Yeah, this one. Okay, let me delete that for now. Okay, now as you can see, A is visible over there. Great, it works. And we have an error also. Here, let's convert this to a validated gate. Okay, and if I duplicate this. Let's put another checkpoint over there. And see, we have two checkpoints in the map. Cool. Mm -hmm. We erase this. Uh -huh.
shall we add that icon here as a billboard what's the name point okay It's hidden in the game. Okay, so now we can see the icon on the checkpoint itself. Also, so the next thing is uh, let's find a way to change this icon. Uh, when I use A here, A should appear in the minimap, and here if I use B, then B should appear in the minimap. So for that first thing i need is a way to change the texture used in this image used in this image so update like no oh, i need a custom event Right. Oh, get the icon set image mode. brush from texture. Texture to OD, okay. Right now, uh, let's call this function in the begin play before we add it to the viewport. How oh. change icon. Texture. Let's call it either compile as the default icon. I will use point A. Let's make this public and also we can. Change the billboard icon also here. Set image, wait. Set sprite. Okay. Set sprite with this icon. The reason to put this in the construction script is because whenever I change the icon in here that should be changed that should change this icon visible here so point A when I say point B you can see B is applied here right now if I play the game A is there B is also there right so it is working as expected Okay, so just like this, let me put this here.
Okay, I imported this house icon. So let's put uh, another checkpoint over here. So this is our house. Select the house icon. Okay, now here you can see the house. Alright. Also, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can set. The size as well. Custom and size if we want. Get icon and the slot. So size. in size right now here when we create the widget if we want we can set the size as well Change size, not set size. Mm. Oh, sorry. Change size. Just doing some clean ups. <laughs> Size. So, actually, uh, let's promote this also to a variable. Icon size. And let's set the default value 30 by 30. Let's make this public. Right now, for the house, let's set it 50 by 50. See, now house is icon is larger compared to other two icons. Alright, so I think we can stop this episode right here. So, thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page, link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.